if we're creating this super powerful technology, everybody should have some kind of access, access to, to it. it. Right. Yep. Otherwise, even if you have a benevolent overlord, you have a overlord, right? And, That's right. And There's a power asymmetry right now. If you need a big supercomputer to run an AI, you can't have like a personal AI supercomputer, right? Maybe they'll reserve a few racks, you know, fraction of the time for you, but really you don't own your own weights. You don't own the extension to your cognition. And right now we don't even have like that many personalized models. It's like one big blob and we're slowly kind of deferring our cognition to it. And in a way we're converging to like a Borg-like mind. We all share one common extension or cognition. We're kind of losing our individuality. And, and I think like individuality, it's fundamentally important. I view the, the search over the space of technologies and innovation and progress as, yeah, as a sort of it's an explore exploit problem, but to explore the landscape, you need different groups of people exploring different things to find new ways of doing things. And if you converge onto a handful of tech companies that, you know, technically they all churn employees between them, we're kind of stuck in, in one way of thinking in one cluster. And there's a risk that there's a totally better way of doing things, and we're totally missing out on it. And if we kind of crown winners too, too early and say, actually, only they are responsible enough to run AI at all, and nobody else should have access to AI. That's just really bad for progress overall. And like you said, it, it, it creates this sort of risk of, of tyranny, right? Like even though right now you might trust whoever is in power, eventually if you over-concentrate power, it becomes a target to the power seeking.